Hey everyone, happy Wednesday. I am going to be doing another eye look today using the palette number seven, which I, um, I've changed my mind several times on what look I'm going to do, but I think I've got something figured out. So if you're catching the replay, comment hashtag replay, um, hit the share button at the bottom left hand corner, then comment hashtag shared down in the comments. And yeah, um, I'm going to let a few people hop on. I'm going to pin my website real quick for you guys. And then we're going to get this eye look going. I'm also going to be using the Maroon Epic Mascara that was in the bundle. That was in the bundle last week. It is super pretty. Oh, don't start going crazy on me. Hi, Abigail. Oh, the lighting. Why does it do this? It waits until I'm on a live and then it starts like acting up. But let me show you guys real quick. So this was, look at it guys. Oh my goodness, I'm excited to try this. I'm excited. Okay, so the palette number seven you can still get on my um, website um, until, I guess until they sell out. And I don't know if they're gonna keep it or not, but um, it's still on there guys. So if you um, watch this video and then you end up liking it, and you want to grab it, then I recommend getting it as soon as possible, just in case it sells out and then they don't bring it back. So I just put some of my Yours and Only Yours Unique Perfume, which you can get a full-size perfume 50% off this month when you purchase a Kudos bundle. So that's pretty cool. I want to stay a bit of it work, definitely rewatching. Okay, Abigail, that's okay. Yeah, you can catch the replay. Hi, Gemma. Hi, Bonita. Hi, ladies. Abigail, I hope you have a good day at work. Okay, so we are going to get started on this, but first I want to, I think I'm going to add a transition color into my crease, and then I'm going to go in with the eye primer on the lid. Um, so I was going to do, I don't know, you guys help me decide. I was going to do like a pinky, smoky eye with the maroon lashes. Um... Either that or just do that white silvery color all over the lid with the maroon lashes and then maybe the pink underneath for like a pop of color. I don't know. What do you guys think? Should we go like all out with the pink? I'm kind of nervous. I've got church tonight and I don't want, <laughs> I don't want to look too out there too crazy. All right. I'm going to go in with um, a little bit of my beachfront bronzer. And I'm just going to add that into the crease for a transition color. Just to give us a little something in the crease. So I'm just going to kind of buff that upwards to right above the crease. Blend it out. I don't know. What do you guys think? Mmm, that perfume. It smells so good. I really want to get one of the full-size bottles. But I think I want to try. This was actually the first one that I had tried. And I really like it. But I want to try the dark purple bottle. And it's funny because I've never been a perfume person. Because I have been like bath and body lotions, um, body sprays. I really like this spray by Curve. I really like that one. That one smells really good. Okay, so we're just getting this eye look going by blending out this crease with some bronzer. Okay, I might have added a little bit too much on that other side, so we're going to really blend it out. Okay, just like that. 
we can always go back in and blend some more. That should be good for right now. Okay, are you guys excited? Are you guys excited? I'm excited and nervous. <laughs> Hi, Peggy. Okay, so I think, I don't know. Peggy, I can't decide. So I either want to do like a full pink eye, like pinky, smoky eye. We're using the maroon mascara, the exclusive maroon epic mascara. Um, so I can't decide if I want to do pink all over with the mascara or if I should do the silvery color all over the lid and then a pop of the pink underneath, smoke out the underneath. Which one? Hi, Nikki. Which one do you think I should do? I'm like, I'm torn because I don't, I don't know. Like if it was any other day, I'd probably just go full blown whatever, but I've got church tonight. So I don't, I don't want my eyes to look too, too much. I don't know, but I'm half tempted to just go full blown the pink. <sighs> decisions, decisions. I need somebody to help me vote. Whatever I see first, that's what we're going with. I'm going to go ahead, though, and pop that silvery white color on the inner corner. Brighten that up. Peggy says do it. Okay. <laughs> Nikki says go for it. Okay, guys. I'm going to listen to you. I'm going to do it. Let's just do it. Okay, so I'm going to take my cream shadow brush. Wait, first we're going to apply some eye primer. So if you grabbed the bundle last week that had the uh, Addiction Palette and the eye primer, uh, so then you already got the eye primer. But if not, and you're going to grab this palette, I recommend getting the eye primer. I did some swatches with it, with and without the primer, and it does really make a difference. We're literally using the tiniest bit, too just to get that lid nice and tacky so we can get some good pigment from this pink shade. So you literally do not need too much. I think that's a common mistake that people make when they try to use the eye primer is they use way too much. And the more you use, the harder it's going to be to blend out your shadows because it really grabs onto it. So we're just putting the tiniest amount all over the lid. Okay, and then just give that just a few seconds to get nice and tacky. Okay, I'm nervous. <laughs> I'm nervous, hi Amanda. Hi Crystal. Okay, so we're going in with the pink shade that's called Sharp, and we are going to use our cream shadow brush. <clears throat> hey girl, look girl, we're using palette 7 again. And I'm going to use the Maroon Epic Mascara. I'm excited to try that too. Okay, so I'm going to blow it off a little bit so we don't get any fallout. Ooh, okay. That's really pretty. Okay, that's a pretty color. I like that. Okay, not too scary. Okay, so I'm just patting it on there and then I'll blend, I'll blend out the crease. Make sure you get it all the way down to the lash line. All right, that's really pretty. I have a feeling that uh, maroon mascara is going to look really pretty with this. Okay, and of course, if you grabbed the blue mascara last week in the Black Friday bundles, those were just exclusive, so they were just for last week. But the blue mascara will look really pretty with that electric blue color. But you can still get this palette on my website. Okay. 
Look at that though. I really like it. Okay. So let's add it over here. Hi, Allie. Okay, guys, you all really need this palette. Let me tell you, the colors are so pretty. You need to grab it. Yay, Jacqueline, I know. Just hopped off of Jen's video. Yeah, I thought I'd wait till she finished up before I hopped on. Sometimes we go live at the same time. So that worked out today. Holy moly, this pink, though. I don't know. What do you guys think? <laughs> is that too much? Is that pretty or is that too much? So you can go as soft. If you want it to be even softer, just don't use the primer. The primer is just going to make it bolder and uh, help it to stay on longer, last longer. But you could definitely do a softer look without the primer. It's crazy, when I did those swatches last night when I showed it to you guys for the first time, um, the two swatches that I did with the primer was still on my hands today. Yeah, we're definitely blending. No worries. Girl, you should know. Blending is like my... You will never catch me not blending my eyeshadow. <laughs> definitely a pet peeve of mine. But yeah, you can see even by just blending it good, softens it up. I'm having issues like with this eye today. I've had to take my contacts out of it several times today and rinse them because it keeps kind of like burning a little bit and then watering. It will be neat to see how the different ways you guys use it. I know. I know. I was so excited to try it out. Like I definitely think you can get like crazy like rainbow colored eye looks which I don't know. I might do those just for fun. I definitely, it's not something I would like wear out like numerous bold, bright colors, but I think when you use a transition color and then use just one of those colors all over the lid, it can be really pretty. Blending is my cardio, right? I know, I totally need that shirt that says that. Me too, girl. It's about the only cardio I'm getting right now. I haven't got to go to the gym in like two weeks and it's kind of driving me crazy, but we're a little snowed in right now. Okay, so I think I'm going to take that pink also underneath, smoke out the bottom, lash line. Okay, so I'm just going to take this brush here. I just think we're going to bring that all the way underneath. I don't know, I kind of like it. There's so much I think you could do with it. Like if you don't like that all over bold color, just use the colors to add a little pop of something underneath. Go neutral on top and then add one of the colors underneath for a pop of color. I seriously think there's so much you could do with it. That's kind of how everyone felt when Palette 5 came out. Now that one is a little bit scarier in my opinion just because it's all shimmer. Only one of these are shimmered. Ok, 
Okay. All right, I'm gonna add that shimmery color on my brow bone, that white shimmer. I'm gonna pop that up here. We already added, added it in our inner corner. Come up here and highlight that brow bone. Yeah, I like it underneath too. I'm anxious to see the maroon mascara with it though. Okay, like, and it definitely looks even better, like, out, um, like, in person. I don't know, guys. I like it. I like it. I hope you guys all grab it and just, like, try something new. <clears throat> okay, try something new. Don't let, don't be scared to try new things. Okay. All right, so we're going to try the mascara. So I think I'm going to do it, I don't know, should I prime my lashes or wait and not prime my lashes? All right, where'd it go? Oh, I just had it here. Hi, Stephanie. My phone's dying. I've got to see the room. All right, we're going to do it. Let's do it. First off, it looks stinking cool. <laughs> Just pulling it out and looking at it, it looks pretty awesome. So let's do this. So I saw somebody do it fully on the lashes and then add the fiber or the 4D fiber on the ends. So I don't know. So let's see what we can get first going. And then if we want to add the fibers on the end, we can totally do that. Kind of like minking the two. Oh my goodness, that's actually really cool. That's really cool looking. Oh my goodness. Okay guys, I was actually like a little nervous about that, that but that's really cool. So who knows guys, like I have like this strange feeling with the exclusive items that was in the bundles that they, they're gonna see like how people like them and see if that they could sell. But don't be surprised if some of them don't get brought back. Okay, so if you really like this, you like the look, then stay tuned, keep an eye out. Um, if I ever announce that they bring it back, I think this is really cool. I wasn't sure about it at first, and man, you can really see it in person, too. Sometimes my lighting makes it hard for you guys to see colors of stuff. I don't know. I think next time I probably would use my, um, I'd probably use my lash primer. Because I have super stubborn lashes, guys. Not so much on this right side. But my left side definitely likes to give me issues. But it helps to use a mirror in front of you. I don't know. What do you guys think? Peggy says it's awesome. What do you guys think? You can be honest. I'm not afraid to try anything once, for the most part. But I think I like it. <laughs> right? Yay! So now I kind of wish I would have got the blue, even though I'm not, I don't, I don't wear blue really on my eyes just because my eyes are super blue. Um, but I, it'd kind of be cool just to see what it would look like. 
especially with that blue that's in the palette. Okay, let's add someone to the bottom. But let's get the mirror. I'm going to make a mess. I'm on a live. All right, good job. Clean all your stuff up. Uh, you can take about 20 minutes. Hi, Candace. Candace, look. Got my color straights on. My Christmassy, well, I should say wintry color street. Okay, I'm going to go ahead and say that I like this mascara. It's not something that I would typically do either. Like, it definitely, it even made my lashes more visible. They just have a pinky maroon tint to them. So I'm anxious to see what it would look like on just a neutral eye. If it would pop even more. But I'm going to go ahead, and there it is. You guys let me know what you think. I'm going to go ahead and add a little bit of the 4D on the tips, like I saw the other girl do. I know, right? We're, we're being a little bold today. We're using our exclusive palette number seven. Look at those stunning colors. If you like pretty bold colors and even if you don't and you you're not typically someone who would wear something like that I recommend you give it a try because you can create super pretty eye looks um, just by experimenting okay all right we're gonna go in with the 4d I'm gonna add this right onto the tips of the lashes and see how that looks and then we're gonna do an eye a uh, lip lip look I'm just going to add it on the very tips because we don't want to lose the maroon. But this might give us a little bit more definition to the lashes by making the black 40 fiber mascara with the maroon. Because I do want my lashes to be visible. I think I'm going to take a spoolie brush through them. Now see, if I would have used the primer, the lash primer, they would have been a lot more separated. The lash primer helps to separate them and kind of like give them a nice curl. Okay, but not too bad. Not too bad. I think it's pretty. It's even prettier in person. Okay, so the eyes are done. What do you guys think? Would you try it? Hi, Bianca. Bianca, I can't wait for you to get your palette set then. We just did an eye look with it. And with the Maroon Epic Mascara, Super pretty. I like it. All right, so let's do the lips real quick, guys. Let's do it. I think I'm going to do... Hmm. We're going to line the lips with Pompous Precision Lip Liner. You already got it in? Didn't you just order it? Didn't you just order it, like, yesterday? <clears throat> Okay, so pouty precision lip liner. I need a mirror. Okay, where's my mint chocolate lip exfoliator? I think it's in my purse. Hi, Dawn. Thanks, girl. I like it. I really love it. This, it's a must-have. Go grab palette seven, guys.
So I think I'm going to do like a, um, an ombre lip. We're lining with pompous precision lip liner. Okay. Fill it in a little bit in the corners. We gotta run, have fun, love your nails. And now I think I could do purple pink. I don't think I could do a purple pink on myself, but you pull it off. Well, you gotta try it, just try it. I got the maroon mascara too, so excited. Thank you, about to try it. Ooh, exciting, so exciting. All right, so now we're gonna go in with a nude lippy to fill it in. Remember the December bundle this month, you can get foundation, mascara, and any lippy of your choice. And then you can boost your kudos bundle um, and get a perfume for 50% off. And there's uh, like four different ones to choose from. And the whole kudos bundle is totally customizable. So you choose your foundation, you choose your mascara. So if you want the regular Epic or the 4D Fiber Lash Mascara, you can choose the, either of those two. And then any lippy. Splash liquid lipsticks, opulence lipsticks, lip stains. Totally customizable. So you got like a full face. What is this shade? I don't think I want that one. Uh, no, I don't think I want that one. That's not the shade I'm going for. Not the nude I'm going for. What's this one? Uh, is this sublime? Yeah, let's do sublime. I love me some sublime liquid lipstick. Yes. Okay. Okay. All right. We're done. What do you guys think? Yay? Nay? I'm telling you, go try it out. Experiment. Grab your palette seven. I'm excited to see you guys step out of your comfort zone. Try something you would never try before. You never know what you'll end up loving. So there is the look for today. Let me know if I can help you guys with anything. I hope you guys enjoyed this fun pink eye look, pink lashes, maroon lashes. Um, that was super fun. Let me know if you guys have any questions. If you need help with anything, make sure you share this video. And I will be back on tomorrow, sometime tomorrow, probably late afternoon, for another um, makeup look. We're gonna we're gonna we're gonna be playing around with this palette number seven until I can convince every single one of you that you need it. Emily Michelle Bowles, Sierra Martin, you both need this palette. Look at this palette. And I'm thinking it's only going to be available on my website until they sell them out. Whether they're going to put them in the, the permanent line, I don't know. So you need to go grab it now. Okay, so we just did this pretty eye look. I hope you guys have a great day, and I'll catch you guys tomorrow. Bye, everyone.